In this video, we're going to look at custom modes for the pots, pads, and faders on the launch key. The sections covering the pads and pots will apply to the launch key 25, 37, 49, and 61, and the section covering the faders will apply only to the 49 and 61 key models. Custom modes allow you to create custom mappings for any performance or studio rig using Novation components which you can access by going to components.novationmusic.com using a web MIDI enabled browser like Google Chrome or Opera. A standalone version of Novation Components is also available in your account once you've registered your launch key. Let's look at where you're able to access custom modes and then I'll show you how to create your own. The launch key has four pad custom modes. To access these custom modes, hold shift and then press any of the four pad custom buttons. Pads can be configured to send MIDI notes, program change messages, and CC messages using Novation components. From left to right, the default pad modes offer the following functionality. A minor scale. Each pad is a note in the C minor scale across two octaves. An alternative drum layout. This is an alternative way of playing drums. CC switches, a section of CC switches for MIDI mapping with a row of momentary and a row of toggle controls. And program change messages 0 to 15. The first 16 program changes for selecting your presets. The launch key has four pot custom modes. To access these custom modes, hold shift and press any of the four pot custom mode buttons. Pots can be configured with custom CC numbers using Novation components. The launch key 49 and 61 key models have four fader custom modes. To access these custom modes, hold shift and press any of the four fader custom mode buttons. Faders can be configured to send custom CC numbers using Novation components. To create a custom mode, select Create Custom Mode, and then choose a custom mode type, either pots, pads, or faders. Let's start with pots. You can select a pot, and then on the right hand side, you can adjust its properties. Once you've finished, name your custom mode, and then you can log in using any available method in order to save your custom mode. To send your custom mode to your launch key, select Send to Launch Key Mark 3 and choose the slot that you wish to send this custom mode to. If you're creating custom modes for hardware products, grab the user manual from the manufacturer and find the MIDI implementation chart. As an example, if I wanted to control the reverb level on the Novation Peak, I can see that I need to use CC 112 in order to do this. I'm gonna set up a fader to control this, so let's create a new custom mode. Configure the fader to control CC 112. Save the custom mode and then send it to my launch key into slot 2. Then I'm going to load custom mode 2 for the faders and I'm going to connect a 5 pin MIDI cable from the MIDI out of the launch key to the MIDI in on my peak. I can now use this fader to control the reverb level on my peak.